Welcome back. I am Lori Cooch, and you girls wanted to know how to make the knockout text. Um, it's really easy. It really, really is. So, first thing we're going to do is we need to add some letters. And it's going to default to the Cricut font, but we need to think of a cute um, saying. So let's try, and you want it all in capitals. So let's try, whoops, April, let's do it this way, April showers bring May flowers. Okay. <clears throat> so that's on our map. But we need a better font. It needs to be a real thick, chunky font. And I know that there's a system font that comes standard on most computers. And it's not that one. It's called, um, what is it called? Please hold while my computer thinks. It starts with an I. I can't think of what it's called. I'll know it when I see it. So it is called... Impact. See how thick and chunky that is? Come on. Okay. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. <laughs> now, we need to first off center this. So you just click on the center button over here. And then next we need our spacing. You want them really, really close without touching. So, um, just hit the down button, and that's going to bring our letters closer together, just a little bit at a time, until we get them as close as we want. Maybe a little more. Okay. Now we want the line spacing to be a little too. We want it kind of all blocked up together. But enough that you can see um, that they're separate letters. Ooh, that's perfect right there. Look at that. Okay. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger just because it's easier for me to see. Now we need to bring in something. Ooh, not that. I did not want to upload images. I want to insert an image. Um, let's see if we can find a tulip. That's really cute. So we'll insert that one. Now, the thing with knockout images is you don't want all the layers. So we need to ungroup this. And you can click over here. I don't want those, so I'm just going to hit delete. And um, I don't want this. Come on. Oh, it's hidden. So we need to show all the different layers. Silly me. Okay. So I don't want this one. And I don't want this one. Don't want this one. And I don't want the black. And I don't want the green. And I don't want this. So what I'm left with is just this silhouette of the flowers. Okay? So I'm going to set it on here and make it a little bigger. Kind of put it where we want it. Now, to slice, you have to have just your two images. You can't have the shadows and the different all the different layers. It's just not going to work. You got to have just your two layers. So, I have my two layers. You can see I have my wording and I have my tulip silhouette. So, I hit select all. And now the slice feature is available and I hit slice. 
and it thinks and it does its thing and you'll see everything turns blue and you got to have the flowers on top and they're going to turn the same color as my letters I don't want them the same color as my letters because I can't see it don't touch anything do not move any part of this image you'll have to realign it it's going to be crazy so just click on it over here and let's see if we find a different color that we like we can use white that'll show up really well okay so we've done that and now this sliced image down here we don't want it. it that's what sliced out we want it to go away so you just click on it you can hit delete and it's gone well you still can't see that very well let's pick a different color can you see it? it's not really good because we have a big gap right here but that's how you do it. That's that's how it works. Let's undo it. Let's let's move those flowers somewhere else. We'll do it again. So let's tilt on the smidge. Come on, tilt. That's really weird. Why is my tilting? Okay. So you know, we'll just move them down here. So that we don't have that big gap between bring and may. Try it again. Select all. Slice. My computer must have a whole lot going on because it's going really slow. Don't change, don't move anything. We're just going to change the color of those images. Okay. And then get rid of this layer. And that's how you make it look, come out, but I don't like it with this wording. But you get the gist of what you're going to do. So then you're going to um, just, whoo -hoo, see, you don't want to do that. Don't want to do what I just did. You want to select all and right click and group it together. Now when you move it, it'll all move as one. And you're ready to go. If that's the way you like it to look, Personally, I would move it around, adjust some letters, and uh, make it fit a little bit better. Maybe find some different flowers. But that's how you do the the knockout text so that um, your letters and your image flow together. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message. You can always find me on Facebook. I'm in the Cricut Craft Room group. I'm also in the Cricut, and you have to use that little and symbol, not spell out and, but it's Cricut explore and design space group or you can find me um, here on YouTube just pop me a message and I'll be happy to answer that's it have a wonderful night